The brand new ultimate test of Rocket League skill is here, and I thought I'd show you guys what it's all about. Welcome to Eversax's Olympics, created by Zhadek. This map is a course of eight different Rocket League skills put to the test, all under pressure in a tight time limit or limited attempts. Each part of the course is scored out of 10 for a total of 80 points. Now I had already done a bit of practice on each of the 8 courses before trying this very first full playthrough, but since this recording my best score is 66 out of 80 so far. I'd love to do more videos of trying to speedrun parts of this course, or in the future, aiming for higher scores. So let me know what kind of challenges you'd like to see on another video. But I hope you guys enjoy my very first playthrough of Eversox's Olympics, let's get right into it. Alright. Here we go, the beginning of the Olympics. It's a decent starting flick, probably around, yeah, 700. But to get that 1150, it is grueling. That might be it. Can it be it, please? Let's go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not the easiest. And these pinches aren't too easy either. I pinched it backwards. Um, to get that perfect pinch, it's, um, it's, d it's difficult to say the least. That was a good one. That was a little faster. Ah, uh, one more try. Okay, well, you know, you don't, you don't get them every time. It's it's very difficult to get, like, a consistent score on these. Um, from what I've what I've done so far, um, I haven't had a full run yet. I've been just kind of practicing these. But so far, 18.1 is not too bad on two parts. But I'm sure if I played this more and, and got more consistent, I'm glad the flicks and the pinches are early on because those two are... Probably two that are more up in the air. Um, I'm not a big fan of the air dribbling being being near the end either because um, your setup is really really important and you only get so many tries. Um, whereas in like this aerial game, you kind of have as much like you have time to make mistakes, and there's not like a limit of like ten tries. It's just uh, you know three minutes forty on the clock up there as you can see. Um, so I, I like these ones more with the time limit where it just gives you the option to. Uh, you know, make mistakes and, and change um, the starting point as many times as you want. Oh, I went way too fast into that. Oops. But to be fair, I don't think I make as many as 10 mistakes, like, within, uh, like, the aerial training, for example. So it's, it's pretty forgiving to give 10 tries. Plus, this is the Olympics. You don't get, like, infinite tries on things. This is a hard one. You have to really... Monitor your boost as you come around this corner here. Oh, I might not make it because of that. Yeah, I messed up my my takeoff around that corner. Here we go. I have more boosts to use this time, so I should have it. You get around like fifty to sixty boosts on the way down here. Yeah, and you just gotta make sure you get in this ring. So like I said, I have practiced all of these, but I haven't really done a full compiled run yet. This is my first official one. Uh, it used to be 1,200 uh, on the first um, pinch level. I might not make it here. We'll see, though. Oh, no, I'll, do, I'll make it. Nice. Um, it used to be 1,200 on the first pinch, and I think they reduced it because it was really, really hard. As you can see, I did actually get a 1,200 pinch but or a flick, uh, but it's like very, very difficult and not very consistent. At least for me. For some people, it might be consistent. I only got 16 boosts here, so I gotta pop it up. Hopefully, not hit this wall. There we go. And this part's a little tough getting through here. But I did it. Let's go. Okay, I almost hit that. What's helpful with the breakout is that it's a little bit easier to uh, get through that because you're thinner. Uh, than an octane. This, by the way, is the most frustrating thing. I'm not sure if it's my camera settings or what, but this level, um, just does this for me. Where I, I, I think you can go a little lower into the ground there, but my camera just gets like stuck in it. Such a specific small, yeah, such a specific small gap. Um, this is the one that trips me out the most right now. I'm sure if I get more practice or maybe switch to octane at some point, I could do it. Um, but I just. I don't know what it is. I just can't see properly through the tunnel, but we'll give it a we'll give it a go here. We got we got some time. Nope. Yeah, if I wanted to if I wanted to torture myself, I could definitely do better than 6.2 on this level, but we'll see if I can get maybe 6.4 or something. Oh. 
No, I got six points. I was actually going to make it through there. That was, that was pretty good. All right, so now we're in the shooting. So this one uh, with the, the breakout should be interesting. I uh, always practice this one with Octane, so... Oh, yeah, those shots on the on the side are going to be tough um, with this car. I'm not used to those kind of turns, but we can do it. I just need to make sure I get used to the, the angle of the front of the car. The, the front of the car is a lot thinner. So, oh, I missed it again. That right side is causing me trouble. Um, and I think, I think you get like point zero, like point five for every, or point zero five for every shot, um, that you score, if I'm thinking about it correctly, or is it point two? Uh, I think it's point two actually. It's a good shot. So we've missed, I think two so far, or maybe three. We'll keep it going. The, the targets get smaller as they go. So you gotta make sure you really focus on your, your shots here. But so far, I would say not a bad first, like, full attempt. Um, I might have hit that too hard. I hit too high. Yep. There we go. I've only been practicing all of these, so I, I'm very familiar familiar with them now, which is good. And I think it's definitely good to go into training first before you play any of this, like, full. Because you're going to get to the levels and be like, what do I do? And I wanted to make sure I saw all of them at a good pace. The biggest thing about the Olympic challenge is that you're put under pressure to... Uh, I missed that. Oh, I missed that. Okay, yeah. Uh, you're put under pressure to do everything within a, a certain time limit or or limit. Uh, obviously, with the shooting here, you can take your time because actually, I don't know if you can take your time. I, I've never tried. Maybe maybe it like resets the ball if you don't hit it off this bounce. <laughs> it, pro it probably does. So yeah, you, everything's within like some sort of time crunch a little bit. We're doing pretty good on these shots though. These ones are really tough though. They're all really really small. I don't think I hit that one high enough. Yeah, that should be good. That wasn't good. Just slightly off again. That should be good though. Not high enough, I don't think. Nope. That should be good. That also should be... Oh, too high again. Yeah, the breakout's really tough to shoot. But 8.2 is not too bad. We're, we're in the green for three of them. I got the dribble challenge. Um, I did... Like I said, I practiced all these. Um... I don't know if I'm going to get to number 10 on this. There's 10 levels, I think. Or was it 9? I can't remember. Um, and the last level is ridiculous. Like, it's definitely uh, a challenge. Oh, no. Okay, I beat the level. I kind of kind of cheesed that a little bit, but it's all good. Uh, yeah, like I said, um, when at the beginning, like I was talking about how I don't really like to do dribble challenges with this car. But um, it's a very, very different spot. You have to like hold the, the ball onto the middle of the car, as you can see here. It's uh, a little further back, or otherwise the uh, the car or the ball slides off the car really, really easily. So far, so good. I don't know what I'm aiming for for the first score, but I'm sure people are going to be like making a lot of improvements on the on the scoreboard as we go here. I'm I'm by no means trying to compete with those uh, top scores, but I'm gonna do my best. Oh, I forgot there was one behind me. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I skipped one. Well, I skipped backwards. I need to move a little faster here. No! Yeah, so this one's like one of the one of the harder ones. And the one after this isn't too bad. It's just a, a bit of an air dribble. I'm going to hit the back one. No! The speed is very, very specific. i got to be like within a certain margin. There we go. Turn. A little faster. And there we go. This one's just an air dribble. Didn't get it fast enough or high enough. Oops. I only have a minute left. Hopefully I can get to level 8. Nope. No. So close. Yeah, this this thing this map puts you under pressure to finish everything within a certain time limit, which is what makes this hard, really. Because if I had time, obviously I would focus and be able to do it. Let's just score it. There we go. Try five point six so far. Let's just get as much score as we can on this level. We got, we got thirty seconds. Oh, 
No, 6.3 is not bad though. The dribble challenge is definitely one of the most, I would say, like from my experience, uh, definitely the most stressful uh, getting through it in the time limit. Seems a bit, uh, it seems a bit, uh, what's it called? <laughs> it seems a bit unfair, the timing. Like doing this in three minutes. It looks like, yeah, three, they give you three minutes to do it all. So it's pretty tough. Um, let's see this parkour 8.5 out of 10 finish the run in exactly three minutes 10 out of 10 finish the run with one minute and 15 seconds or more left on the timer oh my okay all right so here we go so I didn't know these rules uh like when I was doing the practice there's no oops um there's no like it doesn't tell you that when you're doing uh the parkour there was just a timer so knowing that now I don't know what the timer is uh, in comparison to what my score was when I actually did it. So we'll have to see. I can't remember how long it took me to do this the first time when I was practicing. I remember doing this though in 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 uh in practice. No. <laughs> Is it worth it? I don't know. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? I didn't even flip. There we go. You don't even need any boost here. Just just flip off of this. It's not a great start. I'm going to have to recover some time here if I want to get anywhere close to the final level, probably. No, I'm so bad. You know, after the Dastia Spring Electro Challenge, I should be good, good at these. I got to use some boost there. I jumped way too high. You got to be very, very specific with how high you jump on these flips. If you, if you jump a little bit too high, you mess it up. Like I said, I'm not trying to go for a perfect run, obviously. Uh, I don't think anyone really is at this time. Um, this pro video probably won't be out for a while, though. Um, I like doing that pop right here. It's, it's a good setup. Should be all right. Just need to take my time. Did I miss the platform? <gasps> no, I missed the platform. Oh, I'm throwing. There we go. Yeah, I meant to wave dash off that. It's a little bit weird to wave dash sideways like that, but it does work. Ugh. Should be good. I like rushing that. I mean, you waste a lot of more boosts if you do it that fast, but I I don't want to waste more time in the challenge. All right, that's good. That was close. Very specific jumps. There we go. Always good to use a little bit of boost to adjust yourself. And there we go. Not not too bad of a level. Uh, I see a lot of players uh, when they were first trying this map. They were going forward. I actually like going backwards and just doing this um, on both. And then sometimes you can even lead yourself into the next flip. But I didn't get the the right landing. If you land like early on the platform, you can do this this platform jump without even. Uh, without even stopping, you can just keep moving. And I like going over instead of under. It seems a lot easier to me. And then flipping to this. Ball cam switches for me. It's good. Oh no. No, I don't have my flip anymore. Oh no, 2 minutes 17. This is not good. 4.7 is not a great score. Eh. Well, that works. Use that last little two boost. Hopefully get across here without falling off. Good. I'd love to get better than a 4.7, please. Turn around. Three point turn. Oh, I did it. Okay, let's go. 4.9. Not too bad. This one you have to do like wall dashes down the side here or like wall flips. I didn't grab the wall though. 5.3. You get a lot of points just for the beginning of this level. All right. I wasted a lot of boost, but hopefully this is okay. No, the wave dash. 
Yeah, that's what I was talking about. That wave dash is super hard on the sidewall. You can easily mess it up if you don't take your time. <laughs> no, I have a minute left. Oh, come on. At least a six. At least a six score. Uh oh. Well, this could be bad. I actually ended up being okay. Somehow. No, dude. If you don't waste boost, this is a lot easier, actually, because you have a lot left at the end. But I'm panicking now because I only have like 30 seconds left. It's decent. Uh, I probably should have just, I probably should have just flipped to that or jumped to the wall. 14 seconds. No. What am I doing? Five seconds left. Go, go, go. I'm just going to go forward. No, 5.7. That's terrible, but that's all good. Uh, air dribble. This one's one of the, one of the harder ones too. I'm never, never really sure what to do with the setup. Like, yeah, that's a bad touch. Nice. Uh, I'm trying to do like a pinch here. And if you don't get the right setup like that, you're just going to be horrible. Oh no. I'm wasting all my opportunities. Oh no. Decent start, but not great. I'll just get like some sort of score at least. So they said 5,000 was the score. I don't know if that was originally what it was before, but at least we get some sort of score on the board. It looks like a five so far. Well, I'm high, but I'm not moving anywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's not great. That might, that's not even any better. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I just wasted the last one. That's it. 5.1. Yeah, that one's tough to get a proper setup. Sometimes I get really good ones when I was practicing, but I only got one 5,000 out of a f like probably like a hundred tries. So. Uh, touch the ball in exactly 58 seconds. This is the tube. This is the final one. So we're at 49.7. Not a bad first score, like I said. If I can get a 10 here, it would be 59.7. So we'll see if we can do it. This one uh, took a bit of practice, but it wasn't too bad. I've, I've been pretty used to these things from like the hornet's nest and stuff. So it's just a matter of adjusting your, your thing. As long as I can remember the, the order. I didn't do this one too much. There's a fan here. I switch through here and then swipe back. And... Uh, you can just take your t take your time here and get down to this this tube. That's one that's one fail. Oh no! I didn't boost down fast enough. Once you get past that that black fan, you gotta you gotta shift your gears and and uh, start to flip through that one. I had to slow down there for a second. Oh no! Oh my gosh! The uh, slowing down there was really bad because it totally set off my internal clock of when I was supposed to like flip off the wall. I'd really like to finish this one, but you only get five tries, it looks like, so. No way. Oh, no. I'm choking. I can definitely feel the pressure compared to when I'm doing it on my own, like, just practicing. Because knowing there's only five tries is pretty daunting, but I definitely feel like I can do it. just need to focus. What? No, how did I hit that? No, I only have one try left. Oh, this is so slow. Oh no, I'm, I'm definitely not gonna reach the ball. I just, I just hit the same one over and over again. Okay, well, for my own doing, I need to make sure I actually do this because I'm going to lose my mind. But 53 or whatever score it was wasn't too bad. Um, I definitely could improve that uh, after practicing more. I felt like I did pretty good at the first two, the pinch and the flick. Um, but the some of the other ones, I definitely could have improved my score. Or Already further than what we did with the... with the, uh, the, the trials at the five out of five, five tries there. 
definitely not be struggling on this one as much as I am because I feel like this one was one of the easier ones for me. Try again. Oh my god, my timing is so bad. There we go. I have to jump off here like this. Flip into the middle. You earned a platinum medal. No. What am I doing? All right, this is the run right here. There we go. Not bad. So yeah, there it is. Uh, definitely quite difficult. Sorry I was focusing on that final run, but definitely wanted to get a good score. Uh, I wish I could have got better than 3.9. Definitely could have got a pretty good one. Like I think it was uh, 59 or 16. Well, I don't know. It was 59, I think, that I could have gotten if I got the finish. But either way, a lot of fun. This is a really good map for practicing. This is, like I said, the ultimate uh, showcase of Rocket League skill. If I practice a lot more, I feel like I definitely get a way better score. Um, I definitely feel like I could finish all of the parts within the time limit if I gave it a go. Um, but like I said, I wanted to give this a go before I gave it more practice. Uh, I got myself familiar with the level so I wasn't a complete noob in the Olympics because I was told that it would be pretty difficult if I didn't. Uh, as you can see, five out of five tries on this, you'd be you'd be wasting your five lives just to sight read the, <laughs> the first half of this tunnel. So um, pretty tough, tough map, but it's a lot of fun. If you want to give it a go, I've got the links in the description. Um, huge shout out to uh, Eversax and, and Jadek obviously for making the map and uh, it's really great to see more of these training things come out. Uh, it's also great to see people compete for the money and, and really push the limits of Rocket League because these training maps have gotten a lot more difficult and a lot more challenging uh, now than they have ever been uh, which is really really cool to see. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely not my best score like I said I could definitely get better. If you guys want to see a future run maybe I try to get uh, 70 or more uh, out of 80. I definitely think I could do it. Until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Wait, that's it? Okay, wow. I'm dead? Two dead? Skull? You're peeking? No, I'm not shooting them. I'm just saying two are dead. Oops. Oh, I might. I got you. I got you.